Hello guys, we're now going to fix an issue when you are trying to install a policy that it fails here on Forty Manager. So if we go into policy and objects and let's go ahead and go to policy packages. So here's the Firebolt one that we have added previously. We're just going to go and reinstall this policy so you can see the, the error that we get. And after we see the error, we are going to go into the logs so you can see where it's actually failing and what is failing. And after that, we are going to take care of that issue real quick. So let's go ahead and wait for this to fail. And even though it fails, it does install whatever you push. Um, but we just want to get rid of that installation fail, which doesn't look good. So let's go ahead and wait for this to finish. Here we go, it is almost done, it is almost completed, and it's going to fail because I know it is going to. And here we go. So if you wanna see what was installed or the installation log, you can select this and go into view installation log. And over here, if you start reading, you can see what it was executed on that local firewall. You can see that it tried to configure VPN certificate and you can see down here that it says the field CA is empty. Node check object fail for CA. Attribute CA must be set. And the command failed to return. And you can see that it tried to add a root CA2. And it is failing. So you can also see it over here root CA2. The same issue again. So let's go ahead and fix that. So if we go into the configuration, the object configurations, we want to go into CLI configurations, objects, and in here you can search for VPN. You want to expand the certificate, CA, and the, what, the one that is in here, just go ahead and delete it. Boom, that has been deleted. Let's go ahead and go to the packages again. And let's go ahead and reinstall this policy and let's see what error we get now or if it is fixed now. So let's go ahead and pause this video to wait for it to finish installing. Go ahead and go next. Here we go. It is almost done. And we still got this installation fail. Let's go ahead and go view the logs. We still see it here, C8 root CA2, the VPN entry. Let's go ahead and close this. Let's see if it's still in the objects, CLI configurations, search on VPN, certificate. So it, it is not there, right? It is gone. Now let's go ahead and go to device manager and go into the firewall and if we go into right click where is the we should have a CLI configuration here so if you don't see the CLI configuration go to feature visibility check it down here that's okay and there we go. Now we see the CLI configurations, VPN, go to certificate, CA, and here's that guy in here. So now let's go ahead and delete it. Gone. So we can even go to policy and objects again and making sure that it's not in here either. Certificate, CA, it is also gone from here. So now we should be good to go ahead and install this policy. We can even just do the installation wizard, which is fine, to install the policy package and device settings. Go next, and let's go ahead and wait for this to finish. And let's go ahead and install it. And let's just go ahead and wait for it. And look at this guys, install successfully. So we were successfully able to install. If we go to installation logs, we're not going to see that errors anymore. You can see that nothing was changed. 
um, go ahead and go finish let's go ahead and just edit this so we can create an edit and push it actually to the firewall press OK let's go ahead and reinstall the policy also let's go ahead and log into the FortiGate firewall go next login rewrite go yes go to policy and objects firewall policy it, oh, it already has the uppercase so I think that's what we did we just put the uppercase for the app and it's still pushing still pushing it should be done here soon There we go, install successfully. If you go ahead and view the logs, you can say that the only thing that we changed was the set name. So we changed the name. We just put the uppercase F here for allow all from management, which is good. So we are good to go. That's how you fix that installation error um, from the 40 VM to the 40 gate VM after importing a new 40 gate. So yep, this is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching like always.